a card that has not only hereditary, but also its own charisma is now a rarity. The fourth generation Jeep Cherokee is one of those. Strong, off-road, with a hardy and skillful transmission. Finding a decent copy in good condition on the secondary is quite difficult. Parting with such only when absolutely necessary. Is it worth looking at all? Perhaps it is worth looking for such a car. Disappointed with this technique, according to internet forums, surprisingly few. Although, why be surprised if in Russia they traditionally treat almost all American cars warmly? And KK, let us call the fourth Cherokee for short. Fans of the brand accepted it almost with a bang. Since the previous self-destructive cartoon-eyed KJ, due to his inappropriate rounded appearance, almost buried the former image of the model. In a word, QC partly returned the authority to the model. This happened not only thanks to the good old chopped appearance, but also to reliable motors. We are talking about a 3.7-liter V6 petrol with a capacity of 205 horsepower and a 2.8-liter Italian diesel or VM Motori for 177 horses. Despite the great care with which the latest engine is required to select fuel in order to avoid failure of the fuel system, owners prefer a turbo diesel to a reliable and trouble-free gasoline-aspirated engine. It is more flexible, more economical, and also more high-torque. Speaking of problems with motors, in the case of the V6, there is nothing to mention especially. With normal use and regular maintenance, it will last indefinitely. There is only one nuance, the fuel filter is integrated into the fuel pump rack. And if there is a blockage, you will have to change the assembly assembly. Diesel is more difficult. It requires high quality fuel, otherwise, repair of the fuel system. And it can be a six digit number. In general, maintenance of a diesel engine is more expensive. A prerequisite for its operation is an additionally installed turbo timer. Without it, the resource of a turbine costing about 100,000 rubles will not reach even hundreds of thousands of kilometers. So when buying such a machine, this question should definitely be clarified. There were only three transmissions. The six-speed manual gearbox was almost never delivered to us through the official network, since cars in the rich limited version with machine guns were sent to Russia. An American-made four-speed automatic was installed only on gasoline cars, and for diesel versions they used the good old Mercedes five-speed automatic transmission NAG-1, which the Chrysler Group actively exploits in a number of its projects. All boxes are reliable and for sure, if they were somehow serviced and taken care of, they will also serve you. However, nuances can still occur, and you wouldn't wish anyone to buy a repair kit, say, for an AG-1. When purchasing a car in the secondary market, find out what type of handout is installed on it. As a rule, cars that came to Russia officially are equipped with Selectrack 2 boxes, which allow you to choose only rear-wheel drive in addition to permanent all-wheel drive. Do not look that a multiplate clutch acts as a differential, even when working off-road and overheating, it was not noticed. There is also a lower row, when connected, the secondary clutch is automatically blocked. Even the most desperate forum visitors do not dare to blame this transmission for weaknesses. Reliable. The Command Track 2 transmission, of the part-time type, deserves the same words. If you mainly plan to use the car on the road, it makes sense to look for it. Whereas in the city, the Sklek Track 2 is still more practical. It makes no sense to dwell on the features of the body. There are no special sins for him. Corrosion does not bother. Let's go straight to the salon. To some, its decoration, perhaps, will seem modest. Indeed, the plastics are hard and seemingly inexpensive. However, it is very practical to use. There are not many extraneous sounds, it is indifferent to scratches, the chairs keep their shape for a long time. Many people complain about insufficient heat supply to the legs. This is true, but such, alas, is the design of the air ducts. You will be satisfied with the suspension, it will remind you of itself every 50 to 60,000 kilometers. And for sure it will be struts or bushings of stabilizers. There are complaints about the backlash of the steering rack. But this, as well as frequent failures of ball joints, is solved by refusing to install off-road tires. But with the electrician? problems are not excluded. Moisture ingress or icing leads to a breakdown of the parking sensors, the connection between the control units is lost, software defect, the tire pressure monitoring system does not see the sensors. Everything seems to be not critical, but according to tradition, it manifests itself at the most inopportune moment. You probably already understood that, ideally, the Jeep Cherokee is a great party. We would recommend the petrol version, 
if not for the impressive fuel consumption and the more powerful diesel. In the city, it fits into 12 liters per 100 kilometers, but servicing it is noticeably more expensive and troublesome. So you have to choose between two evils. Suspension. Consumables on our roads can only be considered struts and bushings of the anti-roll bar. Bushings, 700 rubles. Per piece, racks, 2,500 rubles. Per piece lower ball bearings with work cost 4,500 rubles. Per piece, the upper ball joints change only when assembled with a lever, this is 9,000 rubles. For detail and work, the steering rack will cost 3,000 rubles to replace. Transmission. There are no complaints about the reliability of gearboxes, but only under the condition of routine maintenance. An oil change for automatic machines is recommended every 40 to 50,000 kilometers. In the mechanics, you can change a little less often, once every 60,000. The main thing is to remember that NAG-1 requires special oil from Mercedes-Benz, and not the usual ATF plus 4. Engine. Nozzles for diesel engines, up to 50,000 pieces. Work on their replacement and calibration, another 6,000 rubles. A maintenance-free injection pump can be bought for 120,000 rubles. For the sake of safe operation, we recommend installing a fuel filter separator and choosing gas stations carefully. Do not forget about the regular replacement of the regular filter sump. So long. The light sector of the steering wheel is a controversial decision. It gets dirty over time and spoils the appearance. Leatherette seats from the same series. It is better not to sit down in dirty and rough clothes. But the main plus today is already quite a rare plus of the cabin, the rear sofa laid out in a completely flat floor. For those who have to spend the night in the car, the solution is indispensable. Electrician. Serious surprises from electricians should not be expected, although electronic components may lose communication via the digital bus. In this case, a flashing is needed, which will cost about 3,000 rubles. In addition, with unqualified installation of additional equipment, cables can be damaged, in which case diagnostics and repair can cost an order of magnitude more expensive. 